Good morning, you guys. So it is early Sunday morning, and a lot of you have been asking, and I know I am overdue. So it is time for a What I Eat in a Day Mommy and Me edition. So if you guys know, I do have a nine month old Max, Dusty and I do, and he has been eating solids since, since six months old. So it's time to share a little bit about what he eats, what we eat together. It's fall now, it's a little bit chilly this morning, it's about 50, but we are going to make our way to the farmer's market and Dusty is actually out of town. So this is my first two true test as a single mama for the next couple of days. So yesterday was actually quite the test already. I had to take Dusty to the airport at four in the morning. Immediately upon dropping Dusty off, we were met with a downpour, but we made it. We did an early morning workout. Max did great and he had a little bit of trouble falling asleep last night. I think it's because his daddy was gone. <laughs> So he kind of broke out in tears and we had to do a little late night FaceTime with Dusty, but we made it through and today's a new day. So let's get going. These probiotics are the only ones we take. They are the top of the line. Only one I would recommend. We heard about them on the Ritual podcast. So it is actually both a probiotic and a prebiotic in one. It's actually called a symbiotic for that reason. You guys can get 15% off with discount code EATMOVEREST. I will put the link in the description below. Be sure to check these out. I always take one in the morning an hour before I eat any food along with my warm water. Smoothies are done, we're gonna head out the door to the market. Wanted to mention that you guys know I love some warrior protein. So I usually add this to our smoothies, but being that I am now sharing with Max, um, I've decided I'm gonna start adding it in a separate shake right before or after my workout. And I've been using the natural blend lately and loving it and also been using the collagen blend. I've got the link below. You guys can use the discount code EATMOVEREST for 20% off. Love Sun Warrior, it is incredible, but for a little baby whose liver and kidneys are still growing and developing, protein powder probably isn't the best idea. Before we take off, I've got my little pill pack. So these are what I've been taking since pregnant and while breastfeeding. My My Kind Organics Prenatal Multi, I just take one, even though you're supposed to take three a day, because I get so much just from fruits and veggies, so I just take one as a safeguard. I also do the Sun Warrior Omega-3, which has vegan DHA and EPA, which can be hard to come by. And then these I've been taking for so long, vitamin D3 and B12, regardless of whether you're vegan or not, 
Highly recommend getting these in your diet. Oh, and one Brazil nut a day for selenium. Are you almost done, buddy? <laughs> so you killed that whole smoothie. Tell me, how was it? Should we go get some veggies at the market? Yeah. We are trucking it home from the market. I will say it's a lot more difficult to do anything without Dusty by my side. <laughs> we usually go to the market together, but we made it out alive. I've got my hands full. Can't wait to show you guys what all we got. He sleeps like a rock. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. I got a big thing of green leaf lettuce. I got a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes, which are honestly nature's candy. They are always my favorite. Just a couple sweet potatoes because I have a whole bunch already. Uh, some sweet peppers, orange and yellow varieties. Love those on salads. I'm gonna make a huge garden fresh salad for you guys later today. Whole bunch of carrots. You can't beat market carrots. They just have such a fuller, more earthy flavor, but like just so much more carroty, so much more genuine and authentic carrot. I got some Curly kale, I love to put this in soups and stews. Already had a whole bunch of lacinato, which I use in my green smoothies you saw this morning. Delicata squash. I'm gonna show you guys later tonight what I do with these. It is my all time fall favorite squash. And then, I know these aren't zero waste, but they keep really well in here. So I got some arugula organic. Everything here is USDA organic, which is awesome. I got some mixed salad greens and half off of the organic broccoli microgreens for spending over $5, which I most certainly did. So we're gonna make an epic salad. But for now, it's time for a pre-workout snack and I'm gonna go in the garage gym and work out. I wanted to go for an outdoor run. Didn't really work that well on the way home from the market, but we'll see. Lately I've been liking to kind of sit lower down, so I've got this cute little poof thing that I'm sitting on, but Max is still sleeping, so I'm gonna enjoy my berry kiwi nectarine banana bowl pre-workout because I like to fuel up with carbohydrates. When Max wakes up, it'll probably be time for a diaper change. We'll get him fed and then we'll go out to the garage. You waking up? That was a good nap. Hi! Hi, Eat, Move, Rest fam. Hello? Oh my goodness! Is what? that Papa? <laughs> Hello, mister. Hi. You say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. What are you guys doing? Bo's in here too. Come here, Bo. Hi, Bo, Seth. <laughs> well, we just went to the market. Maxie fell asleep and had a good long nap, so I ate my lunch. He's about yeah. to eat his lunch. Yeah. Got some fruits, and then we're gonna go in the garage and do a little sweat. Nice. And then we're gonna go play. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. Are you ready? You finally are ready to eat. Oh boy. What are you gonna start with? You've got so many goodies. Oh, my favorite too. Can't go wrong with a nanner, can ya? Share with mama. 
that's, oh, that's a messy one. Want some Razzy? <gasps> Yum. <gasps> what? So it is time to pump. I go for 70 at level five for a couple minutes, then switch it to 54, level eight, and go for 15. So here is my stash. You can see it gets a lot more yellow. Yellow, golden is good. That means there's lots of good healthy fats for baby in there. Breastfeeding has seriously become like a real passion of mine, which I didn't expect it to. But if you guys wanna hear more about breastfeeding, let me know in the links below. I've got all kinds of tips and tricks. So I would love to do a video just on that and go into a lot of detail because I could go on and on and on. So let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to make that video. All right, you guys, we, Finally made it. Max got really messy when he was eating, so we're staying with the diaper for now. Cause like I said, it's like a sauna in here. We've got a space heater out here. So it's really hot, basically like a sauna, which means it is time to sweat. Okay, just finished my workout and changed the baby, made a post-workout smoothie. So wild blueberries, cherries, bananas, a whole scoop of natural Sun Warrior, Warrior Blend, and then also a scoop of Maki powder, which is extremely high in antioxidants. So all about that recovery. Quick tip on the protein powders. A lot of people ask me for one that's not chalky. It's probably chalky if you're not diluting it with enough fruit or liquid or you're using too much protein powder. So I say if you're gonna make a small smoothie, do a half scoop of protein. If you're gonna do it like a really big one, then a full scoop might cut it. This one's somewhere in the middle. I decided to go with a full scoop today and the natural isn't overpowering. In fact, it has no flavor, so I really like it. Oh boy, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Mister, you learning to walk? Oh, did he just hit you with his tail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> Beaumont. Come here, bud. Uh-oh. Are you guys playing? We've got church at 6 p.m. tonight, but we're in the basement now for a little bit of play time, and you can see Max is starting to walk with his walker. I've got a couple of snacks, so these are coming to the blog soon. You guys won't want to miss this one. These are vegan, homemade, Girl Scout Caramel Delights, or they're also called Samoas. And I even made some without cacao for Maxie. You wanna try? Kid and baby friendly, they're so good. They're just oats, dates, some spices. Um, what else did I put in them? Well, I guess you'll have to check the blog. <laughs> so this is pretty much what our shelves usually look like. Any open space on anything where you can set something is usually occupied by a banana trying to ripen. What you playing? Aww, 
So nap number two means it's time for me to chop a salad, then we're gonna head to church, which I'm kind of nervous about without having Dusty there, and the fact that Max is napping now means he'll probably be awake for church. So, fingers crossed. All organic, USDA organic from the market. We've got green leaf lettuce, arugula, curly kale. These make great dog treats. Bo loves them. Beaumont, come here. So usually I'll just put him in his bowl and fill it with food and it helps him to eat his food. Oh, you already found one? <laughs> Look at you go. Quick tip for greasy hair, I take cornstarch, organic of course, you can also use arrowroot powder or tapioca starch, any sort of starch. Sprinkle a little bit into your hands, rub it together and massage it into your roots until the oil is gone. Works like a charm. I only wash my hair once or twice a week. Cleaned up in five minutes flat, so I'm gonna go grab Max, put him in the car seat, and head to church. All right, we are headed to church. Afterwards, we will be cooking up a storm for dinner, so stay tuned. What you think, Maxie? Are we headed to church? Yeah. Did you have a good nap? All right, you guys, just got home from church. Max did fantastic. Let's see what we're cooking here. So I've got some short grain brown rice boiling up. I'm gonna steam some cauliflower. I'm gonna pop the sweet potatoes and the squash in the oven. So I'm doing it at 425 for probably about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna saute onion and garlic and then add some red lentils to the mix, some tomato puree, and then the peas and the cauliflower. So I'm gonna make some kind of like curry dish, red lentil dish, which you guys all know we love the ethnic cuisine. So I'm looking forward to seeing it come together and also looking forward to leftovers tomorrow night because Max has swim lessons in the evening. No need for oil, pop them in as is. You might wanna flip these halfway through, but everything else should be fine. It'll probably take about 25 to 30. So baby led weaning is not the only form of feeding that we do with Max. As you guys may have seen, we did a smoothie this morning and we do some purees and things like this messy sloppy lentil curry I'm making tonight. It just makes more sense to spoon feed as opposed to let him make a mess of it because he doesn't tend to like feed himself that kind of stuff. Now that being said, if it's like berries or pieces of fruit or sweet potatoes or maybe even avocado, things that are a little bit more formed, he definitely can and will feed himself, but it still ends up mostly on the floor. It's just comes with the territory of weaning um, or introducing solids, I should say, because <laughs> We're still primarily breastfeeding. Speaking of, it is time for him to eat again. I always nurse right before he eats any solids to make sure that he is filling up primarily on the most nutrient dense source of fuel for his body. Update on the lentil onion garlic mix. So we're gonna put this into the mix along with the frozen peas. And I was gonna do chickpeas, but we don't have any, so it'll be okay without it. We've got plenty of iron in the lentils, which is super important for mamas and babies. Keep that iron up. It's really easy to become anemic, no matter what diet you're on. 
So lots of lentils. The brown rice will also be great. Cauliflower is awesome and can't live a day without my sweet potatoes. Who else is on the sweet potato train? Leave me a comment below. I'm going to add maybe about a tablespoon and a half. This is salt free as is curry powder, but this is just the perfect blend. It's so good. Um, going salt free is important if you have high blood pressure. I don't worry too much about it, but being that I'm feeding an infant, it's really important with little tiny babies that are under a year old that you kind of watch the salt in intake so no added sodium is really necessary because again their livers and their kidneys can't really process sodium or refined proteins or anything too processed in general so max has only eaten whole foods only eaten vegan foods and again steering clear of refined sugar and added salts so just something to keep in mind a little bit's not going to hurt but just really be conscious of it and it can also be more healthful for you as well so instead what i always do is just crack a little bit after i cook on my own dish and that's really the best way to do it anyways so you don't over salt your food so these are looking good now you can easily spoon the seeds out of the middle i eat the skins on these check those perfect Looking good. What do you think? Should we say a quick blessing? You say, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Now you do it, okay? You go, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So here's what we've got. We've got our curried red lentils. We've got our brown rice, our roasted sweet potatoes, and roasted delicata squash. These things, no joke you guys, taste like sugar cookies mixed with a hint of popcorn flavor. So here is Max's. He is just chomping at the bit. Are you ready to pig out and chow down? So I gave him a little bit of avocado left over from the other half of mine from earlier from lunch since he was napping. So those healthy fats are super important, especially for babies and kids. Should we try this? So yeah, sometimes you just gotta plop it right in, don't ya? Good job! Are you eating cauliflower? Have a pee? Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> oh, gotcha! Daisy <laughs> pee! Nom nom. Think, Bo. Do we get to feed you a little lick of leftovers? What? <coughs> what is that? <laughs> Alright you guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this What Me and My Vegan Baby Eat in a Day video. So if you want to see more Eat, Move, Rest lifestyle videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. And make sure you've got that bell clicked to turn on notifications and get alerted whenever we put out new videos here on this channel. So follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Until next time, Eat, Move, Rest, your best. Bye guys. Bye! <laughs> Maxi! Scrub dub dub! Oh, you feel A, B, C. A is for apple that grows on a tree. Good job! C is for cupcake, a pretty pink snack. Next page! Good job! We're done!